Hi there. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Make This Happen, where we discuss an idea we've been dying to see come alive. Every week, my friend Alexander Gonzalez and myself, J.E., would bring you a product you never knew you needed. Soda. I like soda. You like soda, I think. Yes. Um, have you ever had a soda called birch beer? No. Uh, it's it's essentially root beer with different flavor profiles. Uh, and some root beers actually taste like the soda I want to create. So, one of my favorite candies of all time, even till this day, I just don't get it that often because it's a lot of waste when you buy this candy. There's a lot of there's a lot of wrappers going about, and that's my least favorite thing about this candy. But I don't know how else they'll wrap it. But is lightsavers, lightsavers, lifesaver, wintergreen flavor. Have you ever had these wintergreen lifesavers? <laughs> yeah, I don't count them as candy because I count them as mints. Oh, but they're so, so good like, as candies. Like I'm never gonna sit down with a can of lifesavers and like wintergreen and eat them. Like the whole bag, because I think my tongue will split. I think my my mouth literally can't handle it. There you can been, eat lifesaver gummies like all at once. I've had days where I sat down, had the little packet of lifesaver wintergreen that like this big, yay big, like gummy bear sized thing. It has maybe like twenty five in them. Open that thing up and just start fucking going to town. Just one wrapper in, crunch, crunch, crunch. Second wrapper in, crunch, crunch. crunch. Oh, you chew Third them too in. Crunch, crunch. Well, after you stuck them for like five seconds, you know what I mean? Like get them a little soft and they get like powdery yeah. and soft and they get stuck in your teeth. Oh, fantastic. I like wintergreen, but yeah. like I just feel like there's a chemical in there that like that freshness chemical, you yeah. know what I'm talking about? I, I think I know what you mean. It's like it's like if you ate too if many you drink Listerine, cold water. Uh, Listerine strips, like if you had like too many of those. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, all that being said, it sounds like you're going to be against this idea. I want to make a wintergreen soda. Uh, uh, strictly like if you have certain <laughs> root beers or like if you had birch beer, it kind of has like a hint of mintiness to it. Are you are you suggesting that we make carbonated listerine and exactly. salt to the masses? Carbonated listerine, and it's gonna be like I, I'm I'm imagining this to be like Mountain Dew levels of sweet, like forty grams of sugar in this motherfucker, and make it oh like my. a sweet wintergreen flavored beverage and i think we could also eventually down the line have a sweet mint flavor so more of like that like double mint kind of flavor from wiggly's you know what i mean that double mint chewy flavor uh -huh. but like in a soda pop um or lifesavers has a sweet mint flavor which is disgusting and just chew a crap ton of double mint um but you know sweet mint can be good like people like to chew and chew i think on if double you do mint. spearmint or evergreen make it sweet yeah it would be good and we'll just have to adjust the carbonation here where it doesn't blast the there's, back of your throat we're gonna go pretty granular here but i think if i'm right there's the amount of carbonation and then the size of the bubbles and what i want is to have like 75 percent of the carbonation of a regular soda still be crisp but have small bubbles you want like that way the when you're drinking it version of soda. I don't want the minty version that makes you breathe out and feel cool to get comboed with the bubble and make it so you nearly choke or something. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Where it gets too intense so you can't drink it. Yeah, totally. I'm all for it. Make it a little bit less carbonated and more like fine bubbles but, to it. Um, but sweet and delicious. Yeah, but it's, it's going it, to be sweet. I don't think it's going to. And then there's got to be a chocolate chocolate version oh, where there's dude. one mixed with chocolate. Every, every winter we come out with like a uh, it looks like Coca-Cola when you buy it. Like it's going to have like that caramel coloring to it. But yeah, it's a chocolate mint soda. That's a genius idea. And then we idea. could even do white chocolate mint. Yeah, so it's like pep, it's like um, bark. Yeah, peppermint. Like we'll every year. Okay, so we have wintergreen and then we have sweet spearmint right those are mainline sodas mm -hmm. those are the the, the 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 two main flavors that we always have all year round what two times a year we'll have during winter i guess well that's when we'll have peppermint bark 
And then uh, I guess during the summer, for some reason, we'll have the Andy's mint flavor. You know what I mean? We'll we'll make yeah, or a... we can say during Girl Scout season, oh, yeah. we can have it like yeah, Girl Scout season, the thin mint flavor, yeah, thin mint flavor. That's what we do. We I was gonna say partner up with uh, uh, Andy's, but that's a better idea. Partner up with the Girl Scouts of America and be like, hey, want to get in on the new soda, thin mint soda? Think about it. <laughs> I think it's a good idea. I think it yeah. would work like a chocolatey. Because, I, I mean, that's basically what a stout is, but ours would be way tastier. Right. Is there a chocolate soda? Has a chocolate soda been made? Oh, I'm sure there's been a chocolate soda at you some think? point. The closest yeah, thing I could to. think of is Coca-Cola Black, which wasn't chocolatey at all, but it had kind of that flavor, whereas coffee and uh, Coca-Cola. <laughs> Love yeah. Coca-Cola Black. And co- Coca-Cola Espresso does not hit the same way. Coca-Cola Black was so much better. Um. <laughs> I don't like that, especially when they are like Coca Cola Black Plus, extra caffeine for your needs. I'm like, what so are you good. drinking at this point? It was Eat so caffeine good. pills. But the flavor, man, Coca Cola and coffee taste great together. You don't understand. Uh, just like how this wintergreen soda is going to taste fucking amazing. Second wave. So we've made a hit selling our wintergreen soda and our sweet spearmint. And then every year people are like, where's your Girl Scout Thin Mint? And where's your Peppermint Bark Soda? We need it. And we made a shit ton of money. Uh, fucking the Dew Company buys us out or whatever, PepsiCo uh, and all that shit. Then we go wild with it, right? We, we, we announce we are actually, like the jokes were made when we started uh, making the wintergreen soda. Like, what is it? Fucking Listerine soda? No one wants that. And then three, yeah. five years later down the road, we do it. We partner up with Listerine and we make a tonic, like a, like a two ounce shot, right? And this guy is jam packed full of your vitamins, full of uh, your turmeric or hemp or whatever you need, whatever it is, goes in this fucking little turmeric thing or this little shot thing. You shoot it minty as fuck. And you drink this. Every time you burp, every time you breathe out now, minty fresh. And it, it's meant to like give you all the nutrients you need and also freshen up your breath. And this is the actual one that people would make fun of at the beginning. Like, it's going to make your breath all like minty and shit. It doesn't. That first one's just a sugar bomb with mint flavors. This will actually freshen up your breath a little bit. What do you think about this second product? Ooh. Do you think it'll be able to beat DUIs? Oh, that's a good question. But no, not a breathalyzer test, <clears throat> that's for sure. Okay, so we can, we can propose that as something that's like a health thing, but also you kick off your morning with it. So like no matter what you do, if you eat your morning yogurt, yeah. if you have like coffee, it'll take away all of that breath while giving you your vitamins. It's it's it's, it's the after meal shot. You, you take it after you just had Korean barbecue. You take it after mm-hmm. you uh, just um, everything. Anytime you went out to go eat Korean, they should just give you this shot for free because your breath's going to stink. Um, then we could partner up with Listerine and then just say if you swish it around once, it cleans your teeth. Oh, I, I don't want to claim that. <laughs> but uh, then we'd have to partner up with Orbitz because they don't have any qualms about that. Um, oh, yeah. But yeah, I think I think the idea I got for the drinkable mouthwash is from an episode of Boy Meets World where Corey Matthew drinks mouthwash and is like, every time I burp now, I'm minty fresh. Uh, obviously, that's not how it works. But this is how this one will work. It's, what if it's we made mouthwash, gum? Essentially, what if we made like a kind of gum as well? But I would want it to be the gum where it isn't an actual gum, but it's like little nerds that you can chew and they're crunchy and then it turns into a gum. I thought you were going to go with, what if it were like, like what if, we went, gum. what if we went like Tic Tacs with it? And then it's like just tiny little oh, mints yeah. that you just eat. Yeah, that would work. Yeah. Tic-tacs but then there's Tic Tacs. <laughs> That's true. But you want them to be like candy rocks is what I'm assuming the look of. Yeah. But maybe, maybe that doesn't work on further thought. Just because Tic Tac has the market on. Yeah. And people wouldn't know what to do with mints that aren't mints that are gum, but it's not gum. It yeah. Would confuse people. Yeah. And then if you only have one Tic Tac left, that's gum. And you're like, well, that's just not enough to have in my mouth. 
Um, we got to make a cinnamon version eventually. You think cinnamon soda? Yeah, or are you talking soda. about the tonic? Cinnamon tonic. Both, both. Both the cinnamon soda and the cinnamon tonic. Sure. I've had cinnamon soda from Mountain Dew. They just came out with it uh, last year for winter. It was part of their winter line. Their grand, oh, really? Their, See? <clears throat> no, sorry. It wasn't cinnamon. It was ginger. It was called ginger snap. Um, but uh, sim- it's a spicy flavor, you know. But yeah, they made it hella sweet, of course. Like it's because sugar cinnamon is delicious. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, we could go, we could venture in and maybe during summertime we'll come out with the cinnamon flavor or like uh, cinnamon ginger cinnamon flavor. Cinnamon toast. Yeah, something like that. Cinnamon toast. That's a good idea. But yeah, sweet smear mint, wintergreen sodas. And then eventually down the line, when we, people don't make fun of us anymore and we're just mainline drink, we make the actual breath mint soda. But it's more of a tonic and probably not carbonated. Something that you just shoot real quick and drink. And it freshens breath. Exactly. For hours. It's, it, it will make new... Because remember when Listerine strips just became all the rage and all of a sudden people were just taking Listerine strips everywhere? We, yeah. We'll be the new one of that. But we'll have nutritional benefits and it's also just a tonic that you take around with you and buy or take after meals and stuff i see it i see it i think this could be um a little bit of the future here yeah yeah well you know i guess fucking uh rc cola make this happen you know, Where's Pepsi's not going to do this. Coca Cola's not going to do Royal this. Royal Crown Cola is what we're is what we're entrusting with their vision. Well, what else do they got under their belt? They got uh, okay. What about this? Canada don't Dry. A, don't they have A and W? Isn't that under RC? Are you sure? Who's A and W under? And like Mellow know, Yellow but... and all that crap. I don't know about Mellow Yellow. Mellow Yellow. Uh, the first thing that comes up is a song. Mellow Yellow. There it is. Who makes Mellow Yellow? Watch it be a Pepsi product, but it wouldn't be, you know, because they have Mountain Dew. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Did you know that Mellow Yellow got a rebrand? I did not know this. What about Sunkist? Who is Sunkist its own brand? I don't know. But Mellow Yellow, I've never cared about. I mean, I didn't either. I would rather have Mountain Dew. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it looks like Sunkiss is their own deal. Uh, yeah, sure. Fucking Sunkiss. Going from citrus to mints. <laughs> Make this happen. There you go. Thanks for listening. If you have any suggestions or products you'd like to see talked about, feel free to write in at appoundgames at gmail.com. We have a Patreon. If you'd like to join the AppPound family, come find us at patreon.com slash wearenotgamedevs. Patrons receive episodes two days early, meaning Make This Happen gets to your ears that much sooner. If you enjoyed our show, why not give... I don't know where I was going with that. Take a second to give us a review. We are on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, Play Store, and more. Catch you guys next Sunday with Alex's idea. Socks. Socks. How to uh, make those any better? Um, I have a few ideas. Yeah, there's a few ideas for socks. I'm writing them down now so I don't forget next week. Uh, (laughs) Because then I I, I go a different way with it. Yeah. Socks suck, but so necessary. They they fucking suck, bro. And then the minute, and then everyone has a universal experience about wetting a sock, or the worst is, in my experience, is when you're potty training an animal and you think you're doing great and then your sock gets wet for no reason and you realize mm. they left a little pee puddle, like when they're small. So they left like a pee puddle the size of a sand dollar. Yeah. So you got all of it. Wait, wait, wait 10 more years and wait till they get old. You got to deal with it all <laughs> over again. <laughs> oh no. Poor um, Chiquita. Yeah. Just leaving pee puddles <laughs> and poop pellets everywhere all around the house. <laughs> And you're just like, wait, is it just dribbling? How come it's just dribbling? It dribbles. That's actually what happens. She keeps <laughs> walking, and I just see pieces of poop just falling as she walks. Like a, like a glacier melting slowly. <laughs>